Welcome to Factory of IAS. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe. There are other subject wise videos are available in our playlist. Try to watch all those videos, it will definitely help you in your preparations. This is Factory of IAS Prelims Congress Part 12 video. Question number 1 The United Nations Capital Development Fund and the Upper Day Foundation have recently recognized Hyderabad as 2023 city of the world. Statement 2. Hyderabad was selected for recognition for a year following its commitment to grow and maintain the urban forest. Answer of this question is option D. Statement 1 is incorrect and statement 2 is correct. In the context of India's preparation for climate smart agriculture, consider the following statement. The answer is option D. That is, climate smart village approach in India is a part of projects led by climate change, agriculture and food security, and international research program. The project, the project of Climate change, agriculture, and food security is carried out under consulting group on international agriculture research headquarter in France. The International Crop Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics in India is one of the CGIAR research centers. Third question: Consider the following kinds of organisms. Which of the above are primary producers in food chains of ocean? The answer is option B, 2 and 3, cyanobacteria and diatoms. Same age of diatoms and cyanobacteria. Next question, consider the following animals. To reduce the chance of being captured by predators, which of the above organisms rolls up, roll up and protects, protects is her, their vulnerable parts. Answer is option D, 1 and 3, hedgehog and pangolin they are the images of these animals. With reference to the newer declaration on forests, which of the following statements are correct? The answer is option A, 1, 2 and 4. It was first endorsed at the United Nations Climate Summit in 2014. It endorses a global timeline to end the loss of forests. It is endorsed by governments, big companies and indigenous communities. Question number 6. Magnetic particles suspected to cause neurodegenerative problems are generated as environmental pollutants from which of the following? The answer is option B. 1, 2 and 4. Brakes of motor vehicles, engines of motor vehicles, power plants. This question, which of the following is a filter feeder? The answer is option C, oyster. The filter feed, filter is a zoology, a form of food procurement in which food particles or Small organisms are randomly strained from water. Oyster, like other shellfish, shellfish have unique filter feeding ability in the sense it takes in water through its grills, which the filter it for nutrients like suspended fragments of plankton, like while automatically draining out the rest of the water. Right. Question number eight. In case of which of the following biochemical cycles of weathering of rocks is the main source of release of nutrients and the cycle? The answer is option C, phosphorus cycle. Question number 9. Which of, which of the following are detritivorous? The answer is option C, earthworms, millipedes, and food is. Question number 10. The common carbon metric supported by United Nations Environment Program has been developed for. Answer is 
Option A, assess in the carbon footprint of building operations around the world. Question number 11, which of the following has species that can establish symbiotic relationship with other organisms? The answer is option D. 1. Fungi, protozoa and cinderellas. Here are the images of protozoa and cinderellas. Question number 12. Are two core practices constitutes a tool available for promoting adaptation of answer is option A environmental responsible practices electronics in the electronics recycling industry this is 13 question why there is there a concern about copper melting plants the answer is option D they may release lethal quantities of carbon monoxide into the environment, copper slag can cause the leaching of some heavy metals into the environment. They may release sulfur dioxide as a pollutant. Question number 14. With reference to furnace oil, consider the following statement. The answer is option D, 1, 2, and 3. It is a product of oil refineries. Some industries use it to generate power. It used causes sulfur emissions into the environment. Question number 15. What is blue carbon? The answer is option A. Carbon captured by oceans and coastal ecosystems. Question number 16. In nature, which of the following is as most likely to be found surviving on surface without soil? The answer is option C. Lichens and moss. These are the Images of lichens and moss. This is uh, 2020 questions, very basic prelims questions related with the environment. In the context of recent advances in human reproductive technology, pro nuclear transfer is used. The answer is option D prevention of mitochondrial diseases in offspring. Question number two with reference to carbon nanotubes, consider the following statement. They are Option D is the correct answer. They can, can be used as a carriers of drugs and antigens in human body. They can made into artificial blood capillaries for an injured part of human body. They can used in biochemical sensor. Carbon nanotubes are biodegradable. Question number three, consider the following activities. At, uh, this these are the statements. At the present level of technology, which of the above activities can be su successfully carried out by using drones? The answer is option D. Spraying pesticides on crop field, inspecting the crater of active volcanoes, collecting bird samples of spouting whales for DNA analysis. Question number four, consider the following statements. There are the statements. The answer is option D, 1, 2, and 3. The genetic changes can be introduced in the cells that produce cell eggs or sperms of a prospective parent. If the person's genome can be edited before birth at the early embryonic stage. Human induced pluripotent stem cells can be injected into the embryo of a pig. Question number 5. Which of the following statements are correct regarding general difference between plant and animal cells? The option C is the correct one and 3. The plant cell has cellulose cell walls, which is animal cells do not. Mature plant cell has one large vocally. Question number 6. Which of the following has reason, reason or factors for exposure of benzene pollution? The answer is Option D. Automobile has sourced tobacco smoke, wooden burning, using vanished food furniture, using products made of polyurethane. Question number 7. With reference to Indian elephant, consider the following statements. Answer is option A, 1 and 2. The leader of an elephant group is a female. Maximum gestation period can be 22 months. Option 8. Answer question number 8. Uh, with 
Which of the following protected areas are located in Kaveri Basin? Answer is option C. Nagarhodi National Park, Satyamangala Tiger Reserve, and Vaina Wildlife Center. Question number 9. With reference to India's biodiversity, Ceylon, Fort Mouth, Coppersmith, Barbet, Grey, Chin, Minivet, and Wild Throated Red Star are Option A. Birds. Question, question number 10. Which, of the, which one of the following protected areas is well known for the conservation of the species of the Indo soft deer that thrives well on hard ground and is exclusively graminivorous? Option A. Kanha National Park. This is the correct answer. This is the image of some deer. Which of the followings are the most likely places to find musk deer in its natural habitat? Answer is option A, 1 and 2, Asak Wildlife Sanctuary, Gangotri National Park. The image of musk deer. Question number 12. In rural road construction, using of which of the following is preferred for ensuring environmental sustainability or to reduce carbon footprint? The answer is option A. Copper slag, coal mix, as for technology, geotextiles. Question number 13. Steel slag can be material for which of the following? The answer is option D. The construction of base road, improvement of agriculture, soil, production, cement, production of cement. Question number 14. Consider the following statement. The answer is option D. Coal ash contains arsenic, lead and mercury. Coal fired power plants release sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen into the environment. High ash content is observed in Indian coal. Question number 15. What is the use of biochar in farm? The answer is option D. 1, 2 and 3. Biochar can be used as a part of growing medium in vertical farming. In biochar is a part of growing medium. It promotes the growth of nitrogen fixing mi uh, mi microorganisms. In biochar is a part of growing medium. It enables the growing medium to retain water for long time. Question number 16. If a particular plant species is placed under the schedule 6 of the Wildlife Protection Act, 1972 what is the implication the answer is answer question uh, option a a license is required to cultivate that plant question number 17 what is or are the advantage or advantages of cereal tillage in agriculture answer is option d throwing of wheat is possible without burning the result residue of the previous crop without the need for the nursery of rice sapling direct planting of plant paddy seeds in the wet soil is possible carbon sequestration in soil is possible according to india's national policy on biofuels which of the following can be used raw as raw material for production of biofuels the answer is option a Can be used as cassava, uh, uh, can be used. Damaged wheat grains, groundnuts cannot be used. Rotten potato, sugar beet. Question number 19 Which of the following statements best describes in terms of social cost of carbon? It is a measure in monetary value of the answer is option A. Long term damage done by ton of carbon dioxide emission in a given year. In the, uh, in the context of India, which of the following is are considered to be the practices of eco-friendly agriculture? The answer is option D. All are correct. The crop diversification, legume, intensification, tensino, tensiometer use, vertical farming. Consider the following minerals. In India, which of the above, which of the above is or are officially designated as major minerals? The answer is option D. One is not. Chromate, kyanite, delimine. 
Question number 22. With the reference to ocean means temperature, which of the following statement is are correct? Answer is option B, two only. Ocean mean temperature collected during January, March can be used in assessing whether the amount of rainfall in monsoon will be less or more than certain long term mean. Question number 23. With the reference to India's national, India's desert national park, which of the following statements are correct? The answer is option C, 1 and 3. Spread to over two districts. It is one of the natural habitats of Indian Great Indian Buster. Question number 24. Consider the following statements. The answer is um, option B, 2 and 3. Central Ground Water Authority has formed under Environmental Protection Act 1986. India has the largest area under groundwater irrigation in the world. Option A, statement 1 is incorrect. Uh, question number 25 and the last question. Among the following tiger rivers, which one, of the, which one has the largest area under critical tiger habitat? The answer is option C, Nagarjuna Sagar, Sri Salem, in Andhra Pradesh. This is 2019 UPSC prelims questions related with the environment. Question number one, which one of the following groups of plants are, were domesticated in the new world and introduced into the old world? Uh, option A, tobacco, cocoa and rubber. Second question, which one of the following national parks is, lies completely in temperate alpine zone? Is option D, value of flowers, national park. Question number three, consider the following statements. Answer is option A. Asiatic lion is naturally found in India only. Double humped camel is, natu is naturally found in India only. That statement is incorrect. Third statement is also incorrect. Question number four. In the context of which of the following do some scientists suggest the use of cirrus clouds? Cirrus clouds, thinning technique, and the injection of sulfate aerosol into stratosphere. Answer is. Option D, reducing the global warming. Which of the following are the Agastemala Bioreserve? Option A, Neya, Pepara, Shindurni Wildlife Sanctuary and Kalakkar Mundan Thural Tiger Reserve. Question number 6, consider the following statements. So the statements and answer is option D. All are correct. Some species of turtles are herbivorous, some species of fish are herbivorous, some species of marine animals Mammals are herbivorous, some species of snakes are viviparous. Why is there a great concern about the microbeads that are released into the environment? The answer is option A. They are considered harmful to marine ecosystem. For the measurement, estimation of which of the following are satellite image remote sensing data used? The answer is option D. 1, 2 and 3. All statements are correct. Chlorophyll content in the vegetation of a specific location, greenhouse gas emissions from rice paddies of a specific location, land surface temperature on of the specific location. Question number nine. Which of the following statements are correct about the deposits of methane hydrate? These are the statements. The an answer is option D. All are correct. The global warming might trigger a release of methane gas from the deposits. Large deposits of methane hydrate are found in Arctic tundra and under the sea floor. Methane in the atmosphere oxides to carbon dioxide after a decade or two. Question number 10. Consider the following answer. Uh, which of the above released into the atmosphere due to the burning of crops biomass residue? Answer is option D. Carbon monoxide, methane, oxygen, and sulfur dioxide. Question number 11. India use of carbofuran, methane, parathion, forate, and triazofos is viewed with apprehension. These chemicals are used as pesticides in agriculture. Question number 12. <coughs> the answer is option B. 2 and 3. Wetlands Conservation Management Rules 2010 were framed by the Government of India based on the 
recommendation of Ramsar Convention. The Wetland Cons Conservation and Management Rules 2010 also encompasses the drainage area or catchment regions of the wetlands as determined by the authority. Consider the following statement. The answer of this question is option D. All statements are correct. Agriculture, soil release, nitrogen, oxidation into the environment. Cattle releases am release ammonia into the environment. The poultry industry releases reactive nitrogen compounds into the environment. Question number 14. Why are dro dew drops not form on cloudy night? Answer is Answer is option B. Clouds reflect back the earth radiation. Question number 15. <coughs> Consider the following statements. Answer is option C. Plant varieties are not eligible to be patented in India. Question number 16. The word Denisovan is sometimes mentioned in the media in reference to an early human species. Consider the following statements. In the Environmental Protection Act 1986, empowers Government of India to answer is option C. Both are correct. The state, the requirement of public participation in the process of environmental protection and the procedure and the manner in which it is sought. They lay down the standards of emission or discharge of environmental pollutants from various sources. Question number 18. The answer, um, the answer is option B. Two and three are correct. As per the scheduled tribes and other traditional for <coughs> as per the scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers, recognition of Forest Rights Act 2006, bamboo is a minor forest produce. The scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers, recognition Forest Rights Act 2006 allows ownership of minor forest produce to forest dwellers. Question number 19. Recently, there was a growing awareness in our country about the importance of Himalayan nettle because it is found in a sustainable source. The answer is option D, textile fiber. <coughs> Question number 20. In the context of proposal of the use of hydrogen enriched CNG as a fuel versus in public transport, consider the following statements. The answer is option B. 2 and 3. CNG as fuel reduce carbon dioxide and hydrogen emission. Hydrogen up to one fifth of oleum can be blamed with CNG as fuel for buses. 2018 UPC prelims questions related with environment. Question, question number 1. Which one of the following is an artificial lake? Kodaikanal Tamil Nadu. This question number 2. Which of the following is a possible consequence of heavy and mining? in river birds. Answer is option B. Pollution of groundwater, lowering of water table. Question number three. The partnership of action on an, a green economy and United Nations mechanisms to assist countries transition towards greener and more inclusive economies emerged at option B. United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development 2012 Rio de Janeiro. Question number four. Four, why is a plant called Prosops juliflora often mentioned in the news? The answer is option B. It tends to reduce the biodiversity in the area in which it grows. Question number five, consider the following statements. The answer is option C, one and three. The earth magnetic field has reversed very few hundreds thousands of years. When living organisms originated, they modified the early atmosphere of the earth. Question number six, in which one of the following statements is Kukui Wildlife Sanctuary is located? Answer is option A, Arunachal Pradesh. Consider the following statements. Answer is option A, one and two. The definition of critical wildlife habitats is incorporated in Forest Rights Act 2006. For the first time in India, because have been given habitat right. Consider the following. The answer is option D. All statements are wrong. Birds, dust blowing, rain, wind blowing, above spread span diseases. Question number 9. How is the National Green Tribunal different from Central Pollution Control Board? Answer is option B. Too early. This 
National Green Tribunal provides environmental justice and helps reduce the burden of litigation in the higher courts, whereas Central Pollution Control Board promotes cleanliness of streams and wells and aims to improve quality of air in the country. Question number 10. With reference to Global Alliance for Climate Smart culture, Agriculture, which of the following statements are correct? Answer is option B. Membership of Global Alliance for Climate and Smart Agriculture does not create any binding obligations. <coughs> question number 11. Last question. The momentum for change, the climate neutral now, is an initiative launched by United Nations Framework Conference on Climate Change Secretariat 2017. UPSC prelims questions related with environment. First question. Consider the following statements in respect to trade related analysis of fauna and flora in commerce. The answer is option B to only the mission of traffic is to ensure that trade in wild animals is not threatened to the conservation of nature. Question number two, in the context of solving pollution problems which are, is or are the advantage or advantages by remediation technique and the answer is option C, two and three. Any con contaminant with the heavy metals such as cadmium and lead can be readily and completely treated by bioremediation using microorganisms. Genetic engineering can be used to create microorganisms specifically designated for a real bioremediation. Question number three, due to some reasons, if there is a huge fall in population of species of butterflies, what could be its likely consequences? The answer is option C, one and three, pollination of some plants could be adversely affected Statement 3, it could lead to, the far, to a fall in the po population of some species of soft spiders and birds. So statement 2 is incorrect, there could be a trans drastic increase in the fungal infection of some cultivated plants. No. Question number 4, it is possible to produce algae based biofuels, but what is or are the likely limitations of developing countries in promoting industry? Answer is option B. Setting up an engineer in the algae-based bi biofuel production that creates high level of expertise technology until the construction is completed. Economically viable production necessities to setting up a, a large-scale facilities which may arise ecological and social concerns. Question number five, in the context of mitigating the impending global warming due to anthropogenic emissions of carbon dioxide, which of the following can be potential sites for carbon sequestration? The answer is option D. All statements are correct. Abundant and economic coal seams, depleted oil and gas reservoir, step terrain, deep saline formalities. Question number six. Consider the following statement. The answer is option C. Both are correct. In tropical region, Zika virus disease is transmitted by the same mosquito that transmitted dengue. Sexual trans transmission of Zika virus disease is possible. Question number seven, according to Wildlife Protection Act 1972, which of the following animals cannot be hunted by any person except under some provisions provided by law? The answer is option D, all are correct. Gharial, Indian wild ass, wild buffalo. With reference to global climate change alliance, which of the following statements is correct? The answer is option A. It is an initiative of U European Union to provide technical and financial support to targeted developing countries to integrate climate change into their development budgets. Question number 9. With reference to the role of United Nations Habitat, the United Nations program working towards a better urban future, which of the following statements is are correct? The answer is option B, 1 and 3. United Nations habitats can be mandated by the United Nations General Assembly to promote socially and environmentally sustainable towns and cities to provide adequate shelter for all. United Nations habitats contributes to overall objective of the United Nations system to reduce poverty or to promote access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation. 
Question number 10. Biological oxygen demand is a standard criteria. Option C. Pollution as a aquatic ecosystem is correct. Question number 11. Consider the following statement. Answer is option B. Too early. Climate and clean air quality should focus on methane, black carbon, hydrochlorofluorocarbons. Question number 12. If you want to see gorillas in the air, natural habitat, best habitat which one of the following is the best place to visit option b is called chamber lake it's also in uh, you can see in other lakes also the term m strips is sometimes in news is related with ma maintenance of tiger reservoirs question number 14 in india a species of tortoise is declared protected under schedule one of wildlife protection act 1972 what does it imply Option A, it enjoys same level of protection as tiger. Question number 15, recently there was a proposal to translocate some of the lions from their natural habitat in Gujarat to which one of the following sites? The answer is, these are all current affairs related questions, Kunho, Palpur Wildlife Sanctuary. Next, uh, 2016 UPC films questions related with Indian and, uh, environment. Question number 1, which one of the following best describes describes the aim of Green India Mission of India, of Government of India. The answer is option C. Restoring and enhancing forest cover and responding to climate change by combination of adaptation and mitigation measures. Question number two, what is our unique about Karai Kama, a breed found in India? Option A. It is uh, capable of swimming up to 3 kilometers in sea. It survives a grassing and ma on mangroves. Question number 3. Recently, our scientists have discovered a new and distinct species of banana plant which attains a height of about 11 meters as has an orange colored fruit pulp, which was part of this India has been discovered. Option A. Andaman Islands. Question number 4. With reference to initiative called Economics on Ecosystem and Biodiversity, which of the following statements are correct? Uh, answer is option C, 2 and 3. It is a global initiative focused on drawing attention to the economic benefits of biodiversity. It presents an approach that can be helped decision makers recognize, demonstrate and capture the value of ecosystems and biodiversity. Question number 5. With reference to Red Sanders, sometimes seen in news, consider the following. Option A is correct. It is a tree species found in a part of southern India. Question number 6. Which one of the following statements are correct? The proper design and effective implementation of United Nations Red Plus program can significantly contribute. And answer is option D. All are correct. Protection of biodiversity, resilience, forest, ecosystem, and poverty reduction. With reference to Agenda 21, sometimes seen in news, consider the following statement. The answer is option A. It is a global action plan for sustainable development. Question number 8. Which one of the following statements is a correct? Virus can infect. Answer is D or bacteria, fungi, plants. Question number 9. In the cities of our country, which among the following atmospheric gases are normally considered in calculating the a value of air quality index? Answer is option B carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide. Question number 10. Consider the following statement and the answer is uh, option B. Too early. Sustainable development goals have to be achieved by 2030. Question number 11. Which of, in which of the following regions of India are you most likely to come across the green Indian hornbill? Its natural habitats. Is option D. Western Ghats. Last question. Recently, for the first time in our country, which of the following states has declared a particular butterfly, a state butterfly? Answer is option D, Maharashtra. It's all about the questions related with UPSC films, previous year questions related with the environment. If you like the video, please subscribe our channel. Please share the video with your friends. There are subject-wise videos that are available in our playlist. Try to watch all those videos. It will definitely help you in your operations. Thanks for watching.